On this episode of Titan TV, we flash back to homecoming weekend and get in the spirit of Halloween. Those and other stories are up next. Recorded on camera six. Hello. Danny made this. Good morning, Centennial. Today is Friday, October 26th, and you're watching Titan TV. I'm Morgan Yarnick. And I'm Kayla Ritchie. Last weekend, students had a great time at all of the homecoming activities. We have the recap. Our Titan football team played their homecoming game last Friday night against Wakeland. They defeated the Wolverines by a score of 24 to 20. We caught up with football stars Kelly Cordova and Ray Anthony Tejada on how they've grown as a team this year and sustained their recent success. I think we just have the motivation from last year that we can do better than how it ended from last season and that every single time things get tough, like with practice, we think of last year and how much harder we have to work. Um, you know, we're, we're all pretty close on the team. Not, uh, everybody's uh, good friends and, you know, we, we come out and practice every day and we practice hard and, you know, we, we want to go out there every, every game and uh, win. I think this team... This year is a lot closer than what we were last year. This year, we can tell everyone is for the team and not just for themselves. Where everybody's bonded together. Uh, we didn't lose that many people from last year, so um, everybody's close. Good luck tonight and the rest of the season, Titans. One of the best parts of homecoming week is homecoming dance. We're here to fill you in on how everything went. Students came together on Saturday night to celebrate homecoming. They enjoyed socializing, dancing with friends, and eating snow cones. Some Titans filled us in on what they did to get ready. Well, um, I had to come and set up for homecoming, so we were done around noon, and I still had like an hour or two before my hair appointment, so I watched Mean Girls for a little bit just to help me get in the zone. And then I went and got my hair done, and then I got my makeup done, and then I bought some perfume samples. Um, well, I had to get here real early to set up for Stuco, so we set up all of homecoming, but then I had like four hours left, so I just kind of took a nap. And it only took me like 20 minutes to get ready. I had a meet all day Saturday, so I had to come all the way from Rockwall back home. It took me about an hour and a half to get ready. I just basically had to do my hair and my makeup. Uh, probably like five minutes. Just put some gel on my hair, whipped it back and forth, you know? Made it look good, so. Um, it took me about three hours, and I got ready with all my friends, and we like curled each other's hair and did our makeup and like danced around. We asked students what they liked about homecoming. My favorite part of homecoming was definitely the food in every way possible. My favorite part of homecoming was when they played the music that you could actually dance to. My favorite part of homecoming was probably my date. He's um, a really good guy, so I had a lot of fun, I guess, because of him. And it was just kind of like that perfect night that every girl wants. Uh, where we got to jump and dance to the awesome music that we played, so. Yeah. Uh, the snow cones and the ladies. My favorite part of homecoming was the party bus because we listened to a lot of 50 Cent and Taylor Swift and a lot of various other artists and it, it really and it really made my day. I, I really enjoyed it. I, I could have been home playing video games but I went to homecoming so Coco 2012. It sounds like everyone had a great time. This is Ashlyn and Matt Titan TV. Homecoming week seems to have brought out a lot of spirit. It sure has. While most students have been hard at work being spirited, orchestra has been hard at work creating music for a silent film.
Do you know what's going on around CHS? Yeah, club and class updates are up next. Psst. What? Can I borrow a pen? Sure, I guess, but okay. bring it back. Okay, thanks. Hey. Hey. What now? Can I borrow a piece of paper? Sure, but come prepared, please. Alright, thanks, sorry. Hey, Tyler, can I? No! Don't be that, kid. Visit the Titan Spirit Shop. The Titan Spirit Shop is in the A-Hall and is run by the DECA Marketing Department. You can buy all sorts of school supplies at good prices, and the Spirit Shop sells snacks such as Cheez-Its, Chex Mix, and Icebreakers, just to name a few. The Spirit Shop is also the place where you can buy Titan Spirit wear, like t-shirts and wristbands. It always welcomes new shoppers, so stop by today. DECA is also hosting a promotion between October 29th and November 9th. All items will be 20% off. This past Saturday, the Centennial Band performed at the UIL Region 24 Marching Contest held in Carrollton. The CHS Band had a great performance and received the highest rating of Superior from all three judges. Great job to all 230 band members. Next week will be DASH week. DASH stands for Drugs, Alcohol, Safety, and Health. On Monday, evade drugs with camouflage. On Tuesday, pair up against drugs on Twin Day. On Wednesday, scare away drugs with your Halloween costume. There will be no mask, blood, or gore. On Thursday, win the fight against drugs by dressing as a superhero. On Friday, make your dreams a reality without drugs and dress as whatever professional you hope to become one day. Hey Titans, choir is having their Java night this Monday, October 29th. Admission is $5 and that goes along with wonderful music, snacks, and drinks. Pre-show soloists start at 6.30 and the rest of the show starts at 7. So be sure to get there early and come support your Titan choir. Hey Titans, quick library update. Library hours are now extended till 5 in the afternoon. Also, a new student book club starts on November 29th from 4.15 to 4.45. The rest of the meetings will land on the fourth Wednesday of every month. See you there. I'm Allie, Titan TV. Hey Titans, this is Catherine with your weather forecast for this weekend and Halloween. Today's high is 58 and the low is 40. Saturday's high is going to be 62 with a low of 39. Sunday will have a high of 65 and a low of 43. On Halloween, the high will be 71 during the day and in the evening when the trick-or-treaters come out, the weather will be near the mid-50s. That's your weekend weather. Have a great weekend and a happy and safe Halloween, Titans. Hey Titans, it's Mary with your sports update. Titans Volleyball dominated districts with a record of 13-1 and are now headed into playoffs. Our boys and girls cross country finished sixth at the district meet at Warren Park. Great job, Titans.
Thanks for watching this week's edition of Titan TV. Have a great Halloween.